Hello, everybody. Welcome to one of the last episodes of our Frontline Football Offseason Outlook. Today, we have a little bit of a guessing game for our free agency frenzy. I'm going to say, guess which team I am. I will tell you at the end of the video. But first, I got to say, welcome to Frontline Football. You're going to push for our new and highlights. And roll the intro. All right, we're going to start with the Kansas City Chiefs. Their cap is uh, $9.8 million. That's pretty good. Um, their top needs are corner, edge, tackle. Um, and then guys to bring back, Sammy Watkins is the only guy on there. And frontline football, best fit or best available. J.C. Horn, Eric Storks, Patrick Jones, and Levi Ozuku, uh, Russell or. Uh, or Kuhn, Jalen Mayfield, and Christian Dart Gerson, or whatever. Jack, you want to say your take first? All right, I'll open us up here. As for cornerback, that's a pretty big need for them. I believe they have one standout star, Brashad Breland, maybe? He was a solid rookie, but they could be more. J.C. Horn would be a trade-up. I wouldn't do that. I think that you have to conquer your tackle needs first, but Eric Stokes could be an intriguing option. As for Edge... Patrick Jones and Levi Usuriki are both intriguing options if you want to take a swing in the second or the third round. That one's pretty straightforward. I would, I think, first first round needs to be for the third need, which is tackle. Russell Akun, he's a veteran tackle who, if you want to place in your system so you can continue the long-found success. Jalen Mayfield, I think, is someone that you really need to consider taking at 31, and along with Christian Darasaw. These are all intriguing options, and overall, you need pretty much two new tackles. Try to bring back Watkins if you can, but it's not the end of the world. You've got Nicole Hardman still. you got, um, what's his face? Tyree. Tyree. Yeah, that's what I'm missing. Travis Kelsey. It's not like a dire need, but at this point, free agency's dying down. There's not much you can do, so you might as well. You brought in Joe Thune. If you can afford Sammy Watkins, no reason to bring him back here. Or no reason not to bring him back. Uh, what are your thoughts on this, Josh? I think first... A uh, cornerback would not be the best option to go with in the first round because you did just cut two of your tackles. Don't forget about that, Chiefs fans. So I would say Jalen Mayfield would be the best person to get for that because he is young and you don't have to pay him as much. And looking at your cap situation, you could probably pay for a serviceable player but not anybody very high up because you decided to pay $80 million for Joe Thune. So... Uh, I would say next, go for like an edge and a corner in the second round, depending on who is still on the board. But first, handle with Jalen Mayfield and maybe bring back Sammy Watkins. Maybe Pringle can take over his spot, so you don't really need to worry about that. You still have Hill and Kelsey and everybody else on the receiving core. So don't worry about that too much, but good. Uh, I guess like... Try to run it back, but this will be a very hard thing to do. All right. Um, corner, J.C. Horn, they're not going to go for. Eric Stokes, I think he's a second-round guy, so if they want to take a uh, corner on the second round, it's a very smart move. Um, Edge, Patrick Jones, or Levi Rusariki, I don't think that they wish they should go. Edge is a big need, but their D-line is fine with Chris Jones on there and stuff. Um, and then finally, tackle. Uh, Russell Okun, I wouldn't go for him, especially in your cap situation, only having $9.8 million. And then Jalen Mayfield, I probably wouldn't take him. If Christian Darson or Dirt, whatever, it, uh, he's from Virginia Tech, and he is very good. He's the I think he's the third best left tackle in this uh, in this year's uh, draft. So if they can, if he falls to them, then I would say totally take him. All right. Well, we all say our take, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're gonna go on to the Las Vegas Raiders. Oh, that's not supposed to say negative, but um, the Vegas Raiders have uh eight. 18.5 million in their cap situation. Uh, their top needs are D-line, O-line, corner, wide receiver, and safety. And guys to bring back, Vic Beasley and Jonathan Haskins. Okay. Um, 
and frontline football best fit or best available. Uh, Gregory Rousseau, Jalen Twanman. I'm not gonna say that too well. Carlos Dunlap, Trent Williams uh, for a line. Trent Williams, Eric Fisher, David Andrews for corner. Caleb Farley, Patrick Sertan, Mike Hilton, and for uh, not and um, Rashad. For receiver, Rashad Bateman, Devontae Smith, and Tim Patrick. And finally, safety, Anthony Harris, Trey Boston's, Javon Holiday. And I'm going to hand this one off to Josh. Okay. So with this, I can see from this, Raiders, you have a little bit of money to spend. Now, do I believe that you should spend it? Yes, I do believe so. Maybe on a tight end, like David Andrews would probably be the best one to go for here. And then maybe pick up somebody in the draft because this will have to be a free agency and draft combined. So with your first pick, I would say for this, if Caleb Farley falls that low or Patrick Sertan falls that low, then pick them up. But if they don't, I would say that your next best option would probably be Gregory Rousseau. He seems like a great D lineman, and he could really help your team. So, uh, guys, to bring back, yes, bring back Vic Beasley and Jonathan Hankins. They seem like great guys to bring back and help you retain the form that you used to be in. So, I will hand it off to Jack for his take. All right, as you guys bring back. Beasley and Hankins are both at positions of need, that being D-line, so that's something to keep in mind. You should probably get them back. Number one need is D-line. They actually kind of addressed this with Yannick Ngakwe yesterday, two years, $26 million. So that's a start. That's a solid edge presence. And hopefully Crosby and Clean and Farrell on the other side can rotate. So that could be good, but still look for your interior D-linemen. I think Dunlap's off the table, but Rousseau and Jalon Twyman? They're both good options here because you need more than one edge. I don't think they're paying for Dunlap anymore since they already spent their money on Yannick. As for O-line, they have the money. I think they could make a real push for Trent Williams. That could be intriguing, especially to get your line that you pretty much just destroyed in the last two months. Cut Rodney Hudson to day of the center. Eric Fisher's a solid option, and David Andrews would be a great Rodney Hudson replacement from New England if you can get him in the building. As for cornerback, Farley and Sertan... They're probably going a little higher. Mike Hilton, unfortunately, I believe he just signed with the Cincinnati Bengals for three years, so I don't think he's going to be available. But I think you could maybe consider trading up for a Sertain or Farley, maybe aim for one of the later round guys, or not later round necessarily, second round guys such as Asante Samuel. That may be an intriguing target. But you definitely need a corner. Wide receiver, Devontae Smith, he could fall to you. It's unlikely, but you never know. Tim Patrick's a really sleeper option. He could be solid. And Rashad Bateman, that's around the range you're picking. Bateman could also be a really good pickup to sit next to Henry Ruggs. And last but not least, safety outside of Jonathan Abram. You just cut LaMarcus Joyner, so there's not a lot going on there. Anthony Harris, Trey Boston, and Javon Holland. I still stand by. All three of those are very good options. I actually think they should make a push for Anthony Harris. I think that is the most intriguing on this list of safeties. What are your thoughts on this, Zach? Um, well, for me, I think that they should go with if Farley or Sertan is there, they jump on that. Um, Mike Hilton, they really can't get anymore because he's in Miami. Um, with O line, Trent Williams, that's a very interesting one. They really need all of these guys, like, well, because their O line is horrible right now and they just traded away everyone, so that's not going to be very good for them. Uh, D line, they fixed that, like Jack said, with Yannick. Um, I think uh, Gregory Rousseau maybe is a good pickup, but I wouldn't uh, pick on Gregory. I wouldn't pick Gregory Rousseau. I would actually go with Javon Hall- Holland or whatever, which is a very good safety. I think he's very underrated, and they really need to work on defense. Which, judging by our list, that's most of the thing that. That's most of the things that they need, D-line, corner, or safety. And I think safety they should go with first. Um, and he'll, he's a very good uh, corner coming out of TCU, and he'll just be a very good presence, especially because you're dealing with Tyreek Hill, 
uh, Keenan Allen, and a bunch of others. So he can go into coverage and pick them off or deflect passes or something like that. Or he could just make the QB's decision making a little bit um, faster so then there might be like a pick going on there or something like that. All right. Has everyone said their take? I think everyone yes. has. Okay. All right. Let's go to LA. So the LA Chargers uh, have 32. Point five million in cap. Top top needs are offensive tackle, corner, edge, linebacker, wide receiver. Guys to bring back Melvin Ingram. Frontline football best available slash best fit. Chris Darshan, Rashad Slater, uh, Orlando Brown trade. Patrick Sertan, Richard Sherman, Patrick Peterson for corner, edge. Gregory Rousseau, Melvin Ingram, Jadavion Clowney, which is a very interesting. Linebacker, Xavier Collins, um, and Daniel Ma- Mosses. And finally, wide receiver, Devontae Smith, if he falls that low. Uh, Tracy, uh, Terrence Marshall, geez. And Sammy Watkins. I'm going to hand this one off to Jack. What is your take on this? All right, for offensive tackle, I think this is a priority for Chargers. You have to remember they signed to all-pro center Corey Lindsley, so the interior D-line is or O-line is getting a little revamped, but I think tackle is a big need here. I think, honestly, looking at it, Orlando Brown, you could definitely trade for Orlando Brown. That would be a great option, depending on what Baltimore wants for him. I think the pick for the Chargers, I'm the Chargers, I'm looking at Rashawn Slater. This is a talented tackle, and I think that there's a real shot that he falls to you, depending on how this board plays out. I think the specific key is what Miami does at three, if they're in the tackle or receiver market. That's up to them. But I think if Rashawn Slater's there, that's an automatic. You pull the trigger. That is a franchise left tackle. Rashawn Slater, Corey Lindsley is a great start to a great O-line. Cornerback, got to remember, they cut Hayward. They cut, or they traded King to the Titans for a fifth last year. This is a big need. Sherman and Pat Pete are both solid veterans I think you consider bringing in. And if you'd like, if you think that you can get Orlando Brown for like a second, then maybe you go with the Patrick Sertan route. I believe you're high enough to get to him, or you're close. I still think he's going to Dallas at 10, but you never know. If he falls, I'd go with Sertan. Edge, gotta remember, I think the main goal should be Melvin Ingram. Try to get him back. I'm not sure if he can. I think Clowney, you could take a swing on a one-year deal with Clowney because he didn't perform, so I don't think he's going to be asking for a ridiculous amount. Put him next to Joey Bosa, and maybe that will increase his production a bit. And Rousseau is another intriguing option with your first-round pick. That could be a great signing as well, or draft as well. Linebacker, you got you drafted someone in the first last year, but I think you need another linebacker. Zayvon Collins and Dylan Moses are both great options, so that is something to keep an eye on. For wide receiver, Keenan Allen and Mike Williams are great, but when you get to the wide receiver three, it starts to thin out. There's not a lot of depth, and Keenan Allen was someone who got hurt a little bit last season, so you may have to address that. Devontae Smith is a long shot, but if he falls, I think you'd get Terrence Marshall in the second, but I think they should really target Sammy Watkins. Allen's all about good route running. Mike Williams is about the contested ball catching. Sammy Watkins can be the speed guy. It gives you a sort of attribute each receiver has. They have different strengths, and I think that would be really helpful for Herbert, especially with the loss of Hunter Henry. What are your thoughts on this, Zach? Well, offensive tackle, Rashad Slager is the second best uh, tackle on the board, so I would say pick him up with their first-round pick. Now, uh, I'm going to talk about receiver here. If Devontae Smith falls that low, that is very impressive, number one, that a Heisman winner is falling that low. But some people are projecting that to happen. Um, and if he's there, you pick him up. It's it's no brainer. I mean, you can work on tackle a little bit later in the rounds, but if he's there, you take him. Um for their for now I've just talked about the first round picks. I think that they should go with like Patrick Peterson. Uh Chris Harris Jr., that didn't really work out too well. And Sherman got injured last season. I think Patrick Peterson's the best one. He stayed healthy last season. Now, yes, he did get dusted uh, by DK Metcalf and all those guys. I saw that. It was painful. Um, but he he's a good corner. I think he can cover the second or third option, whatever Chris Harris Jr. is not going to be covering. I think Chris Harris Jr. is going to be covering the slot. So whoever the slot receiver is for that team, Chris Harris Jr. will be covering him while Patrick Peterson is covering the other uh, receiver 
Um, Edge, Melvin Ingram, probably the best to re-sign him. If, or if you want to go for a short year deal, Jadavion Clowney is a very good pickup. I don't think you should draft Gregory or so. Maybe uh, later in the rounds you take a different edge like Quinn Roach or Chris Rump from Duke. I think those would be good. Uh, instead of going for like a first round guy, you take those guys in the second or third round. So, yeah. Um. Finally, with linebackers, Xavier Collins has fell a lot on draft boards, and he is supposed to go in the second round. I think if you want to go with uh, one of the edges I said last time, I say totally go for Xavier Collins in the second round. All right, Josh. Okay, so. One of the big things is offensive tackle. Obviously, if I am the Chargers, I would draft for Sean Slater. And then with corner, I would say try to find somebody in like second or third round. Don't draft Patrick Peterson. Too old. Don't draft Richard Sherman. Injury prone. So uh, next with your edge, I would say probably re-sign Melvin Ingram because Jadavion Clowney, well, yes, he will ask for less money. He won't be on the field as long because of either disciplinary issues or getting injured. He just is not a good signing for any team to go through. So next, uh, Xavier Collins, I believe that he'll be taken by the first round because he is the best linebacker in the draft, in my opinion. And Dylan Moses would probably be more your uh, area. But I would say for that pick, to pick Terrence Marshall with your second round pick, because uh, Keenan Allen can't do all of it. Hunter Henry left, and Mike Williams may actually want to leave the team. There have been rumors swirling around that either he wants to be released or he wants to be traded. So it would be good to get somebody to replace him. And with your $32.5 million, probably just spend some in free agency and try to rebuild the Chargers team with its final pieces. Okay. Jack, you already said your take. So now we're going to finally move on to our final team, which is the Denver Broncos. They have $33 uh, million in cap. Um, now... Their top needs are corner, D-line, sorry, uh, offensive tackle, linebacker, and quarterback. Guys to bring back, Phil Lindsay, Shelby Harris. Um, Carline football, best available slash best fit. Caleb Farley, Patrick Peter, Patrick, Patrick, yeah, that's Patrick Peterson. And then Patrick Sertan, uh, D-line, Kawhi Payne, Melvin Ingram. Offensive tackle, Rashad Slater, Alex Leather, or Leather, Wood, geez and Mitchell Schwartz. Uh, linebacker, K.J. Wright, Kawan Alexander, Von Miller. And finally, with quarterback, Mac Jones, Sam Darnold trade, or trading up into the higher picks to get Trey Lance. And I'm going to hand this one off to Josh. Okay. So one of the things that I believe that they will most likely do, these are the two scenarios that you may see Denver try to pull. The first one, Excuse me. The first one they may try to do is to draft Caleb Farley because he will probably be in the range and he is one of the best corners on the board. And then the other thing they may do is trade up to draft Trey Lance, who sits a year under Drew Locke, who is basically Brock Osweiler 2.0, and then becomes a star, hopefully. And then with your next pick, it seems like you could probably spend some stuff in free agency. So I'd say get Mitchell Swartz on your line to help with that, help bolster it up. And then those seem like the best moves. And maybe don't resign Philip Lindsay. Maybe Shelby Harris you should resign, but probably stay away from Philip Lindsay. And that's what I think the Colts will be doing for drafting and free agency-wise. So I will hand it off to Zach for his take. Well, corner Caleb Farley, they're probably going to take. I see other uh, draft and mock drafts that Patrick Sertan will be over Caleb Farley. I don't believe that, but uh, Caleb Farley, they probably should take. Uh, for D-line, 
Um, I actually say go for with Melvin Ing, uh, Ingram. Kawhi Payne, he's a very good linebacker. Uh, not linebacker, uh, defensive tackle. But Melvin Ingram just adds that like little, I don't know, flair to it or something like that. And he knows how to play that position very well. Um, offensive tackle Rashad Slater, um, very solid option. I wouldn't say go for it because. Um, if you want to go Caleb Farley in the first round, you can't take Rashad Slater. Now, Alex Leatherworth, he is in the second round. You can totally take him. I say that they go with their second uh, in the second round. They go with Alex Leatherwood. Not work, please. Um, then uh, for uh, what is it? Linebacker. I think you don't go with any of these guys, and you save linebacker for next year's draft. Or there's a way that you can get Xavier Collins in the second round, and you take Kim. Um, quarterback, I say trade up for Trey Lance, or you take Mac Jones in the second round. Another thing is Kyle Trask. I know that he probably won't be taken in the third round. People are projecting him to go in the third round. And if he does, I would say go for it. And Denver needs to jump on that very quickly because – any of these quarterbacks are very pro they're project quarterbacks and they need to sit under someone. And Drew Locke is like a and eh, he's fine to sit under. I mean they better not learn like to be good their first year and then the next year they're horrible. So yeah. And then I think that they should re sign if they want to re sign Philip Lindsay, then they can't really sign Melvin Ingram. Uh and Shel and then Shelby Harris, I would also say to re sign. All right, Jack all right, so first off, their biggest need is probably cornerback. They did sign Ronald Darby, so that's a start. But I still think they should draft Caleb Farley. I think this is the best option on the board, and I think it fits what they're trying to do. They could sign Pat Pete as a veteran. They could very well get Sertain, but I think I prefer Farley at the moment. D-line's another option that I think they need. Quiddy Pay, Melvin Ingram. I don't know about Quiddy Pay. I think you should focus on either trading up for Trey Lance or drafting um, Caleb Farley in the first round, so... I'm leaning towards Ingram on that one. Oh, ta offensive tackle. They had a solid off left tackle in Garrett Bowles, but Jawan James is injured and leaves a lot to a lot to desire on the right side. I think Mitchell Schwartz could be an easy, quick fix to the line. Linebacker, K.J. Wright, Kawan Alexander, and bringing back Von Miller I think should be a priority because they can afford to, but Kawan Alexander is a pretty solid linebacker too. Last but not least is quarterback. Mac Jones is a good option. I think trading up for Trey Lance, you should definitely consider it to hop Carolina. And last but not least, Sam Darnold. I think you could get him for, at this point, his value is literally plummeting. The Bears, first the Bears signed Andy Dalton to pretty much get them out. And the football team signed Fitz and they're no longer interested. So I think at this point, you're, you're looking at maybe a third, which is a pretty good deal for Sam Darnold's ceiling. And you could get him to compete with Locke. That could be an interesting option moving forward. Philip Lindsay, Shelby Harris, I think they did re-sign Shelby Harris, so... But Philip Lindsay, I think you consider bringing him back, because Melvin Gordon's your power back, he's your elusive back, he kind of works, and you can afford to do it, so I don't see why you don't. Alright, well, that does it for our video today. If you liked it, uh, you should check out our video tomorrow, which will be all about the NFC West. Josh, what should they do if they liked this video? If you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, because once you do that, you join the Frontline Football fan base. Frontline Football fan base is up to date on all their news, rumors, updates, and highlights across the NFL season and offseason because they watch us. And you can't keep track of all of what's happening in free agency. Don't forget to watch us. We will get you all the news that is happening from anywhere from Tuesday in 2021 at 7 o'clock to 7.30 Central Time is what we know. So make sure to check us out then, and I hope you guys are all having a great day. So I have been Josh from Frontline Football. Oh, and right before I say uh, hit the plugs for Jack, that team at the beginning, if you guessed in the comments, New England Patriots, you are correct. So, yes, that was counterfeit money, too. That was not real money. So, 
With that, I have been Josh from Frontline Football, and I will say, Jack, hit the plugs. As always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at FrontlineFB. Too lazy for that good news. Links are in the description, as always. We hope you enjoyed as the offseason outlook's come to an end. Stay on the channel to keep updated. We still got the NFC West to preview, and there's a lot that needs to go down. Stay tuned. See you tomorrow.